Yo, man, Steel Mills, what's the deal, man? Tapping back in with y'all, man. Check in on y'all. But, um, I wanted to talk about the two youngins, the prospects. Shit, they, they can't even be considered prospects no more. But, um, Jerron Ennis and Virgil Ortiz. Uh, I don't have enough to say about these dudes as far as praises is concerned. I mean, what I've seen from these youngins, I'm like, whoo! I love it, man. I, I, I love it. I, I love the, um, oh, man. I think um, at the moment, Virgil Ortiz is slightly a bit ahead as far as the two of them are concerned. As far as being ready for a championship bout goes, due to the fact that you know the level of competition that he's fighting. Uh, I mean, I, man, what I watched him do to Sammy Vargas, ouch, man. Some, oh man, you, it was cringeworthy listening to the the, the jab land on that man's face. The crowd takes all that shit away from you. When you got roaring fans in the crowd, you don't always hear, you know what I'm saying, the leather smacking up against a nigga's face. You don't always hear it. You'll see the results, but you don't always hear it. Man, it's it sounded like beat by like he was beatboxing with the niggas beating on the table at you know at lunch so niggas can get <laughs> That's what it sounded like with that man's fist crashing up against, you know, up against that man's face. I was like, God, Lee. Just this, I'm, man, this dude is looking like he's, he's matured quick. He's matured quick, man. Like, like I wouldn't be mad like if he beats Maurice Hooker. He needs a title shot. He needs a title shot. I'm like, I don't even know what, what, what I don't, I don't even know what, what else to say about this dude, man. I, I, I just. Oh my God! I went, I re back, I went back and rewatched him and uh, Mauricio Herrera and how he eradicated that man. Now, granted, he was older, but damn, this dude is a demon. This dude is a demon in there, man. I, I just his, his angles, man. I just, I really love his footwork, man. He's re his jab and his footwork, just every, you know, everything is crisp and concise with his punches, man. He, come on now, you're not. Gonna, truck drivers is a trip on the road man but yeah man um everything i see I, I just i just see a really i see a really crisp fighter a crisp young fighter in virgil ortiz man and just like i said man his angle I, 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 I didn't know he could cut angles like that man he's really great on his feet he's really great on his feet man i'm like man this, this kid is the goods man you know he's really defensively sound i haven't seen him i haven't seen him get hit too often you know of course considering the competition that he's fought I haven't seen him you know I haven't seen him eat too much leather and Sammy I think Sammy Vargas was a really good fight to you know what I'm saying engage him at because of who he's been in there with and he he just met destruction with this dude man so I, I, I really look forward to I, I really can't wait for him and Maurice Hooker that is going to be a great fight. That is going to be a great fight. And, uh, man, I, I don't want to count Maurice Hooker out because I know he trains with Bo Mack. And, but I don't know. Man. I, just, I think Virgil Ortiz brings a, a whole different Stella, a whole different set of skill that Jose Ramirez brought. Mean, Jose Ramirez was able to get him out of there. Jose Ramirez has fast feet. But it's it's on the line, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, he doesn't have the best head movement. Lightning fast combinations. He hits like a fucking meteorite, but he doesn't have the foot, the graceful feet of a, of a of a Virgil Ortiz, man, to get offline and get under get under shots and countering it. He, he, nah, I, 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 I'd have to go. I got, I got, I got, I got to go Ortiz, man. Um, I do. I got to go Ortiz on that fight. And um, as far as Jerron Ennis is concerned, it's, I feel the same about him. I feel the same way about Jerron Ennis. 
I feel the same way about Jerron Ennis. But you know what I'm watching from him, man. Just the switch hitting, man. I, um, everybody is trying to switch it. That's one I've been noticing. I'm seeing a lot of people switch hit. I mean, shit. I mean, they, there's always been switch hitting in, in, in the sport of boxing, man. Um, it comes with the territory. You dig what I'm saying? You want to confuse an opponent and find a way to keep him off balance and keep him guessing. When punch, you know, when you're throwing left hands from two different angles, one minute it's a jab, the next minute it's a straight. You one minute you're throwing a right jab, the next minute it's a right straight. You, you know that it's hard to adapt to that. It's hard to adapt to that, especially when they do it on the fly. And that's when I, I see that from Gerard Ennis, man. Uh, and his body punching, like, ouch. Ouch. One thing I have snowed, I mean, with his body punching, it's, um, it's not as compact as, um, as a lot of these other guys. And I don't know, maybe it's just him showboating, but his body punch, you know, when he throw, when he goes down to the body, it isn't as compact and tight as, as a lot of other I, I've seen him wind up, and, and I, like I said, it could just be him showboating, but I'm seeing him wind up Oh shit! Damn. Oops. <laughs> Switch gears on the nigga. But I'm seeing him ugh, to the body. Uh, that's what I'm seeing from Jerron Ennis, man. Uh, and I think it's just all him showboating. I think that I don't think he's gonna do that with a Sergey Lippin yet, unless he's just to a point where he's that comfortable in there and Sergey can't. He has no answer for him. I don't see him doing that then. But um. I, I, I love what I see out of him as well, man. Um, I told my coach, I'm like, man, you you need to go watch this kid around. And is he gonna tell me, ah, man, you got a terrible, you got a terrible eye for talent, and yada 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 yada? Because he, you know, I fuck with Laura. He don't like Laura, and you know, yeah, yeah, man. I'm like, coach, your ass is Mexican, man. Why are you talking greasy about Canelo? And he ain't the he, he ain't the biggest fan of Canelo. I'm like, man, Ryan, he can't stand Ryan Garcia. I'm like, man, fucking hell, but, man, you got a terrible eye for talent. I'm like, fuck out, you need to go watch this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? This kid is nasty with it, man. Uh, but uh, just, I, I, I love what I've seen out of the dude, man. And, you know, this, this, this young Philly boy, man, is, is he's dope. He's dope, man. Um, the switch hitting is, you know, that he, he switches very well. Very well. You know, I'm talking like possibility to be, maybe not the elk of a Terrence Crawford, but under Terrence Crawford. So I'm talking better than a Danny Jacobs and a Josh Taylor and Keith Thurman and Tyson Fury. That He's comfortable from both sides. He may not be able to fight. I, you know, I, I got to go back and watch a few more of his fights, but I don't know if he can fight a whole fight from either side like Bud can. But he's very, he can fight for a while in, 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 in the individual stance. This kid is the goods, man. Um, really, you know, tight defense. Like I said, I haven't seen him take too much punishment. I ain't seen him eat too much leather. I haven't seen it, man. I just, I, I, I seen, um, I just seen him in there getting busy, man. I, I did. I keep trying to find the Chris Van Heerden fight because I would like to see how he did in that one round before he got stopped. But the dude, the uh, I can't remember the cat's name that he fought before that, and I was, I'm just like. Damn, the dude had never been stopped. That's a big deal, man. You get with motherfuckers they first stop it. Like that's that's man, that's cause to say, man. So I don't know. I'm loving what I'm seeing out of these two youngins, man. Um, and I look forward to the day that they gotta meet up. I look forward to that day. I don't think it's gonna be at 47. I could be wrong. I I, I could be wrong, man. They could they you know because you know they're like younger than Spencer Crawford. But I, I do see them meeting up. Maybe at 54, something like that. Cause I, I think, you know, they can fuck around. They gonna, I think they're gonna go up to, you gonna fuck around and see them at 160. You're gonna see them at, you know, fuck around and see them at one. You'll possibly fuck around and see Virgil Ortiz at 68. Maybe not so much Jerron Ennis. I think Jerron Ennis is a little bit more wiry than a Virgil Ortiz, but you know, like these cats is young, man. They in their 20s, they're early. They're in their early 20s, man, so I don't know. You know, who knows what the future holds for these cats as they come of age, man. But them two motherfuckers right there, I want to say they next up. 
I want to say they next up, man. Cause what I'm seeing from them, I, I'm like, man, these kids is incredible, dude. So, there's people already saying, I, I heard Luke from, you know, the IBFP say he stopped Keith Thurman with a shot, you know, with, you know, because he's a body snatcher. Virgil Ortiz would. I, I don't, I'm not, I, I'm not about to throw Keith Thurman. I, I think Keith Thurman is really, niggas really got Keith Thurman fucked up. You dig what I'm saying? But I understood why he said it. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I get it. I get why he said it. I get why he said it. I get why he said it. But I, you know, let's build him up a little bit more and acclimate him to the high level. You know, the high quality competition that at welterweight before we say he's better. He'll, he'll stop Keith Thurman because he hasn't been. I mean, he's been hurt. He's been dropped. He's been, you know, clipped to the body multiple times. But it was never to a point where it's like, you know, the ref is stepping in. And, uh, I'm just waiting on my cue to jump. It's never been to that degree. So, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. So, but I would like to see it pretty soon. I would like to see if he could, if, if he could get past Maurice Hooker could I, and, you know, give him another, give him like a top, top 10, top 20, another top 10, top 20 welts away after Maurice Hooker, then I can say, all right, yeah, let's see him in there with one of them cats. But as of right now, nah, I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. Maybe he is ready. I don't know, but I, I'm pretty prone on man you know, getting a few tests before you go in there and dive into them waters, them shark infested waters. And I know Jerron Ennis is calling out Thurman and Crawford. Uh, yeah, not Thurman, but uh, Crawford and Spence. And I'm like, man, let's 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 let's, let's chill for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Let's chill for a minute. Let's see how he does with Sergey. And I, I think Spence will have a bit more of an issue with with Jerron Ennis from what I've been seeing. But that don't mean I, I think he's about to beat him. I just nah. Let's chill. Let's pump the brakes for a minute. Let's see how you do with Sergey. And then another. Oh, you know, I'm shit. I was Sergey top ten well too. I'm not too sure. I know he is he top 10? 15? I'm not too sure. I don't know the rankings like that, man. I I, I, I don't. I don't I, I'd be lying if I said I know the rankings, man, but I'm not too sure if he's a top 10, but I know he's more than credible. And maybe he is a top 10, but I know he's a you want to test yourself as a you know as a as a pup, yep. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead and jump in the lions then with Sergey coming to fight so that's how i feel about it man I, I i wanted to do a video on these two youngins man um that's how you know that's how i'm feeling about them i got i got high expectations of, of these two i really look forward to seeing them in the future i really do and that's what it is with me man so let me know what y'all think in the comment section man still mills i'm out